How about those Denver Broncos? You know what? I'm going to be honest with you. Probably the best Denver game I've seen since uh, Super Bowl against the uh, Green Bay Packers. So Elway, apparently in the offseason, is part of the whole coaching, I don't know, he's management. We'll say management. And you have often got to be careful what you wish for. And Well, a few years ago when uh, Mike Shanahan was the last year the coach, I said I didn't want him coaching anymore. And I wanted young blood. Careful what you wish for. I didn't think anyone could have been a worse coach than Wade Phillips, who was a former Broncos coach. He's terrible. But Josh McDaniels, huh? Wow. And then I didn't think anyone could be worse than Josh McDaniels. Well, John Fox, you're on the process. After all, it was Josh McDaniels who could not even figure out how good Peyton Hillis was in 2008, even though the stats showed it and the highlight footage showed it. Peyton Hillis is kicking ass in Cleveland now. So now we got this uh, Tim Tebow situation. Last night, zero plays he had. He had a hat on, not a helmet. Wasn't even ready to play. Thank you, John Fox. I'm sarcastic when I say thank you. And I'm watching Kyle Orton play like shit. Oh, that fumble that he had, uh, man, the third quarter. I laughed my ass off when I seen that. And I'm so proud of the Oakland Raiders for destroying the Denver Broncos, or at least defeating them, despite the fact that the Broncos had a punt return for a touchdown, despite the fact that the Oakland Raiders, again, had a trillion penalties like they always do, and it still was enough for them to come out victorious. But when are you going to figure out that play Tim Tebow within his strengths? The guy can run. The guy can, it looks like he can throw a little bit. So play him. Literally play him, please. But I don't know what else I want to say. I've enjoyed them getting their butts kicked because for some whatever reason, you can't see it. I don't know why you can't see it, but I can. And it was enjoyable to see them get their butts destroyed. I hope Tim Tebow can come in fairly soon and get playing because he is a high quality talent. Now I've never ever in my life ever seen a first round draft pick quarterback fail in the league without failing. Meaning, if you look at every failure, Kyle Bull or Ryan Leaf, David Carr, I could list, I can go on Wikipedia and probably give you 20 or 30 quarterbacks who have failed since 1990s as a first round pick. All of them had a chance to play and they failed. All Tebow has done is in his first 13 games last year as a non-starter, he come in now and then and do okay. In his three starts, he averaged 25 fantasy points a game, around two touchdowns a game. He's a touchdown machine. So until you can prove me otherwise and you haven't, that's exactly what Tim Tebow is. Anyway, take care.